Hello everyone, welcome to another video and welcome to a brand new video, possibly series. So the thought behind this is that um, I often get sent beauty products which I will try, but I will try them out you know, in my personal life, off camera, off screen for a couple weeks and I come back and either do a blog post over on my blog for a review or I will talk to you about it in a video, show some of my favorites. However, sometimes I get sent more of a collection of products cohesively from a single brand and I thought in that case it might be more fun or useful to share with you and try on the makeup for the very first time together on camera. So that's what we're doing today. We will be trying on a lot of goodies from Burberry and I do have a hard time saying that so if I slur off sometimes, forgive me. Um, but Burberry makeup and um, I've got some foundation, lipstick, shadows, quite a um, pretty much a full face with the exception of a few things which I will substitute with other products. And today I will also be using some brushes from Sephora's. Um, I think this is their fall and winter collection, super luxe and I love the dark floor print. So I'll be using those brushes because mine all need a really good wash and I haven't gotten to that yet so I'm busting out the new Sephora brushes um, what else do I have to say let me know if this concept um, appeals to you I won't be listing every single product in in video in a text but I'll type everything down below in the information bar that will make this process so much faster and won't take forever to edit because I don't want this to be a serious makeup tutorial as I don't even know what or how it's going to turn out. We'll just put some makeup on my face and uh, see where this leads us. So I freshly washed and moisturized my skin and I've taken off a little bit of any residual moisturizer with a blotting sheet just to make sure we have a pretty normal, you know, even canvas as I did use a heavier moisturizer for the winter season. So we'll start off with the Nude Radiance of In Fresh Glow number one, which is their primer slash illuminator, and I have it on the back of my hand. So we can put this on as our base and primer. Again, I do have my eyebrows on um, because eyebrows take forever, and I don't have a eyebrow product from Burberry anyway, so it wouldn't really affect this video. Next, I'm actually going to go in with their contour pen, which comes in a stick format. And I usually see Wendy use this before the foundation as a more subtle contour. So we're going to try that. You all know I'm not a big contour person, and I usually don't do the contouring. But you know what? We're trying makeup on. We'll try it and see how it goes. So she does the stripe down the side. And then a little bit over here, I think. I've watched a couple videos, just saying. Um, and she just really blends it out with either her fingers or a brush. So that's what I'm going to do. The foundation I have today is actually quite, seems quite lightweight. So maybe the contour will still show through that. Do any of you contour every single day? I'm not a huge contour person, like I said. But if this is nice and easy, I'm all for it. Now I'm going in with the Burberry foundation called the Fresh Glow Luminous Fluid Foundation, which by the way, they all come with a pump and they have this uh, twist lock mechanism for the pump so you don't accidentally spill any. And I have the color in porcelain number 11, which might be the lightest shade that they carry. And on a Sephora brush, on it goes. So the foundation seems to have applied really well over the primer and I can still see a very subtle hint of the contour I put on. And I'm not sure if I told you about the name of the contour, but it's called Face Contour, Effortless Contouring Pen for the Face and the Eyes. And I have this in medium number 01. There are probably two or three shades available. So now I think I'll go in with this counterpart, which is the highlighting pen, called Nude Radiance number 1, that is the color. 
And Wendy usually just does a couple of marks this way. And I know this one is a very subtle one because I've swatched it. So you might not be able to see a lot happening on camera. But I find with Burberry makeup, it is really all about that very sophisticated, natural, glowing skin. So maybe that's what this is about. I feel like I will need a concealer as I have a few pesky spots and uh, the Fresh Glow foundation is quite lightweight and light to medium coverage. Now for some eyeshadow, I have this cream to powder eyeshadow right here. This is the Burberry Eye Color Cream Buildable Eyeshadow in number 102 Mink, which is this brownie, taupey, again, quite sophisticated shade. Um, it does come with a little brush like this. Not gonna go for this. So my voice is still feeling kind of iffy. Um, this cold or flu or whatever that it is, it's just really lingering. The rest of me feels fine. But if I sound a little squeaky or off, that's why. But this eyeshadow though, it's going on really well and it's actually very thin. So you don't feel like there's a lot of heavy product on your eye. I think I'll use the brush for the lower lash line just to do something a little bit more precise. But for the top, just fingers. Next up, I have this coal eyeliner from Burberry, and this is the Effortless Blendable Coal Multi-Use Crayon. And this is a little chubby stick, and all of the Burberry um, pencils actually come paired with a sharpener every time you buy them, so you will never not have a sharpener that fits your pencil. So, I usually don't do pencil liners or coals, but since I have it, I'm just gonna throw it on and see what happens. So here we go. I think I'll just do quite a thick line and just smudge it around. Maybe that works. So I think that's pretty much it for the eyes, and I'll leave it like this. I will curl my lashes, um, pop on some mascara, and then some falsies because, again, I don't do without falsies. But I will be using this pair from um, KISS. It's the Look So Natural Taper Lashes that I've talked to you all about before, and I'm using the one in Shy. Ideally, I think for this type of look, I would use the Dolly Wink... Otona lashes in something. I'll put the name down below, but I ran out of those, so we'll use the Kiss ones. I mean, they're still nice, but they're a little thicker than what I would like, and I would use something a little more separated and uh, dispersed, shall we say, for the lashes. But I'll put those on and come right back. So the eye makeup is on. I still feel like I need some concealer, like I said, for this little guy over here and this little thing over here. So I've taken some Kat Von D um, Tattoo Concealer and I've mixed it in with the leftover bits of my Burberry foundation. I'm going to use that to conceal a couple of things. Next thing we have here is the Light Glow Natural Blush in number 7 called Earthy Blush. And this I've seen Wendy use it in a video more as a contour rather than a straight up blush on the cheek. She tends to take that and go around the contouring which we've done earlier. So that's what I'm going to do using a, not the brush that comes with it, but it does come with a brush. Um, I think I'll use this one right here. It seems to have that chiseled shape which might be more fitting for this. So, little bit of blush on my brush. 
and we'll go in just over that contour again this probably wouldn't work for me as a blush color per se but it is matte which is nice Looking on camera right now, I think I may have over contoured. Um, we'll see. We'll take an after photo and we'll see. But right now it's looking, well, my cheekbones look good, but it's very, seems a little bit dark to me. Let me know what you think. We'll finish things off with some lips. And this is a lip combo that I've actually tried on in Nordstrom. Um, so I'm very excited to have this and use it. Uh, the makeup artist used the lip definer pencil in the color garnet number zero three and what she did she went all the way around my lips and then she contoured a little with the lip pencil and then we put on the lip color so that's what i'm going to do we'll go all the way around and we'll do a little dip in the center Now we're ready for some lip velvet in rosewood. Now for my personal taste, I think the combination of all the highlighting primer and the fresh glow foundation is a little too glowy for me right now so I'm actually going to powder down with a bit of um, Makeup Forever HD pressed powder just down the center of the face. Here we are, my very first try on makeup video. Again, let me know if you like this style and concept and if you would like to see more in this style. Um, I think this actually is a pretty well put together look. Like I would see this as a like a medium smoky look, but the lips are not too dark, so it's not super vampy either. Quite sophisticated, definitely very Burberry. Um, and I will list all the products that I use down below in the information bar in case you're curious. Let me know is there any particular product that you would like to see a review for once I've used it a bit more. Again, this is just first time putting it on my face. So take great care of yourselves. Have a lovely day and I'll see you back here very soon. Bye!